Hey guys, it's Hindash. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Timmy. I promised you guys that he would be in pretty much every video, so now I have no choice but to put him in every video. <laughs> Today's video is very special for me because I'm gonna be creating my signature makeup look. This is my all-time favorite go-to look. I love doing this on clients, I love doing this on brides. It's actually a perfect, perfect bridal look. I would change a few things when it comes to bridal. I would add more pinks on the cheeks, so make it a bit more soft and romantic because I feel like pinks Soft pinks are very, very romantic. So yeah, this look is definitely my go-to. It's actually been my most liked photo on Instagram, which is insane. I posted the photo for this look and the response has been incredible. Thank you, thank you guys so much. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me there. It's at Hindash and that's where I post everything first in terms of like previews of the looks that I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna blab on too much, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more of my videos and leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below. Let me know what you wanna see next, bye. My model for today is the beautiful Cami. We became instant friends and you'll get to see that throughout the video. <laughs> for skin prep, I'm gonna be starting with the Caudalie Beauty Elixir Spray. I love using this. I love using it before makeup, after makeup. You've seen me use this a couple of times and I love using it on myself when I'm feeling really tired. And then for moisturizer, I'm using the Umbriolise Le Creme Concentrate. I love using this, it's like a primer. It's like a moisturizer and primer in one. I've used this a couple of times on myself. I'm a bit too oily for it. I get a bit shiny throughout the day if I'm wearing this, but it's beautiful. I'll still wear it if my skin's feeling really tight or after I've been out in the sun. And it just really makes your skin very comfortable and it's a great makeup base. So I'm gonna apply that all over her skin and massaging it in as usual, just to get her skin ready for makeup. And for an under eye cream, I'm using the Caudalie Premier Crew, the eye cream. And I love this eye cream for makeup because it's very light and it has a bit of light reflecting properties to it. And as a highlighter underneath the foundation, I'm taking the NARS Super Radiant Booster. I love this. I haven't put this down ever since I got it. So I'm going to be applying that all over the high points of the face. And I am going to mix it with my foundation after. So it's going to give me an even extra uh, boost of glow. And you'll get to see how the skin looks like it's lit from within, which is insane. For foundation, I'm taking one of my favorites that I haven't used in a while. It's the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, and this is in number six. The shade number six, it's a beautiful shade. I talked about it in my favorite foundations video. It's a perfect olive undertone for all of you olive toned beauties. It is stunning. And again, I'm mixing that with the NARS Super Radiant Booster. And I'm going to be applying that all over the face in very thin layers as usual, building it up. And that Super Radiant Booster mixed in with the foundation is such a perfect combo. And I feel like the more you buff in the foundation, the more it releases that glow in the Super Radiant Booster, which is incredible. I mean, the Armani foundation already has that amazing glow to it. So this just intensifies it even more. Next, I'm gonna be taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. This is the new one, and this is in the shade 33. And this matches her skin tone pretty much exactly. I'm gonna be going in with another shade to brighten after. And because I don't wanna use a lot of powder in this look, I'm going for a more self-setting concealer. So this concealer actually works great on its own, but I am gonna powder a bit under the eyes. And I'm gonna blend everything in with a damp beauty blender. And as you can see, this concealer looks great on camera. It looks great in person. It was made for HD video. Going over the eyelids a bit just to eliminate that redness. And now I'm taking the lighter shade, which is shade 31, and I'm placing it very strategically in areas that would get darker or that are a bit more sunken in. So basically using it as a highlight. And then again, blending it with a damp beauty blender. And making sure I'm not really rubbing, I just wanna tap it and keep it in place because I want that brightness to stay there. And now taking my all-time favorite Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and just very lightly setting the under eyes. I have been loving using the Too Faced Born This Way concealers as kind of like a bronzer contour. This is the Super Coverage one. And these actually look beautiful as foundation, so you can use them all over the skin as foundation. And I'm just using this shade to kind of bring warmth to the skin and to give it more shape and life. And I always like to blend in my contours and bronzers with the foundation brush that I used because you already have a bit of that foundation build up on it, so it blends it even more beautifully. Make sure to get into the hairline really well so you don't see any marks. And now for blush, I'm taking the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte in Sunset Strip. I am obsessed with this. I use this all the time now. So I really want to pick up more of their colors. And again, I'm taking my foundation brush and stippling it into the product and then buffing it and stippling it onto the cheeks to keep that color concentrated and then just diffusing it out. And as you can see, it really works beautifully with that bronzy contour we did and the highlight. Love it. <laughs> And now for even more glow, we're doing like three layers of glow here. This is the Hourglass Vanish Highlighter Stick, and I'm going to be placing it on the high points of the face again. So cheekbones, on the top of the nose, Cupid's bow, chin, all over. <laughs> 
for brows, I'm taking my favorite precise in my brow pencil from Benefit, and this is the shade number 4.5. And Cami has really great brows. She has great shape. So I'm just gonna brush them up and fill in any gaps. And again, like I always say, I wanna see a bit of skin showing underneath the brow, so I don't wanna completely block them. And I always like to set my brows with a brow powder and I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow powder and I'm mixing just a couple of shades. This is from the Pro Palette. As an all-over powder, I'm taking the Hourglass Veil powder and this is a loose one. Um, this one doesn't give you a matte look. It actually looks glowy because I think it's infused with diamond or gold particles, which is crazy. <laughs> but I love this all over the face, not really under the eyes. For an eyeshadow base, I'm taking the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadows, and this is the Double Pump Latte shade, which I love. I love the matte shades in these. And I'm just placing it all over the lids as an eyeshadow base, and sort of stippling it and buffing it out. And I'm gonna take some underneath the lower lash line as well. So anywhere I would do eyeshadow. And now probably my favorite makeup product ever, the NARS Mambo Eyeliner Pencil. I use this in every video pretty much. And if I don't, I kind of try to sneak it in there behind the scenes. <laughs> I've started to notice even if I'm doing a black liner look, I always like to start off with a brown just so I can kind of map my shape out. And I like to take a tiny pencil brush and diffuse that color out and make the wings even sharper. And Cami keeps twitching so we keep laughing. <laughs> I'm going to tight line with that brown, and as you can see, it makes a big difference. It really opens up the eyes too, and completes the eye. And now taking my beloved MAC Semi Sweet Times 9 eyeshadow palette, I'm mixing a couple of the browns just to create a soft crease look. So nothing crazy, I'm darkening the crease with a brown and then diffusing the edges with a cream. This eyeshadow from the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette is one of my favorite eyeshadows of all time. It's insane. It is the champagne shade called Luscious, and I love this. I use this all the time. I basically pack this palette in my kit just for that color. I mean, I love the palette as a whole, but this color looks like glass on the lids. It's such a beautiful, pretty champagne. I know it sounds really basic, but I don't have anything like this. I'm going to take that warm brown and tying it in with the lower lash line, connecting it to the liner. For mascara, I'm taking the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and wiggling it through her lashes. And as you can see, the difference is insane. <laughs> she had to do a bit of an infomercial moment. I've been obsessed with using a fan brush for lower lashes. I feel like it gives it that doll-eyed, uh, feathery look. Because sometimes lower lash mascara can get too clumpy and crazy. For bronzer, I'm taking the Benefit Hula Bronzer. This is the huge limited edition one. I hope they make this permanent because it's a perfect size. I can get in my brushes so easily. And I'm basically going over with what I did with the Too Faced Concealer where I bronzed everywhere. And please don't forget the neck when you're bronzing. For blush, I take this beautiful Laura Mercier blush. I really love their blushes. I think they've done an incredible job. I think blush is very important, and I can tell a good formula from like a weird formula, which is which is kind of tricky. <laughs> and I want to stick with the peachy tones, with the bronzes, so this is the perfect color. For highlighter, I'm taking the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. I haven't used this in ages, but it's so stunning. I don't know why I haven't reached for them a lot, but they really are incredible highlighters. I mean, it is their standard product. For individual lashes, I always use Ardell Individual Lashes in Medium, always. For lip liner, I'm taking MAC Lip Pencil in Oak. This is one of my favorite shades. It's such a beautiful neutral brown. It's not too orange, it's not too um, brown. <laughs> it's a great contour for your lips if you're a medium skin tone. And I'm gonna be trying the new Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. This is the Latex Love lipstick in Belle du Soir, and it is stunning. I just kind of dotted it in the center of the lips and blended it with a brush. And it kind of gives you that really juicy nude lip. It's what I would get if I did a lip liner, lipstick, and lip gloss, but it's just with two products. Setting the brows really quickly with the Anastasia Brow Gel in Clear. And then setting the face with the MAC Fix Plus. I'm going to be enhancing all her beauty marks with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. And I love doing this. And here we're trying to figure out a beauty mark that we completely covered with highlighter. <laughs> and this is the final look. This is my signature makeup look. This is what I do. This is what I love. And I hope you guys really like it because this is me. <laughs> so leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. And give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.